sitting on a busy street. This house stands as a total mystery. In nearly a year since the first explore, I've still found zero information about the house itself or who had lived here, other than a lifetime's work put into a hobby, leaving behind unreal results to decay. In 2021, the property was purchased by a development company who plans on redeveloping the land. Thankfully, we are getting a second look before that happens. Last week, the channel hit the 5,000 subscriber mark. I've been meaning to do this, waiting for the right place to do it at. Just to say to thank you to all of you. It's absolutely incredible. It blows my mind that there's 5,000 of you enjoying these explorers. I love doing them. I've done them for a long time since before I even thought of YouTube. And this is just awesome. It's great. It's, uh, I'm speechless. There's no words. I'm gonna quit blabbing. As you can see beside me, a bunch of train tracks. We're back at the model train collector's house. This place is incredible. And my first visit here, I feel like I, I rushed it a little bit. I didn't get too in depth with anything. So this explore is gonna be a lot more in depth. We're gonna have a closer look at a lot of things. Starting off right at this big cluster of train tracks. It's incredible. And the first visit here, I was thankful to have a lot of people who know their trains and their model trains commenting uh, about this setup. Because I myself still know next to nothing about model trains. And from what I read, this is a pretty unusual setup. So it's very cool that we're getting to document it. Seeing the controls here. There's a box down here, it looks like, with rusted out pieces of track. Now, and all the boxes for the trains. I didn't have a close enough look at these. They are empty. They're all through here. You can see some damage has happened since the last visit. This was standing upright. Of course, the TV is still there. It is such a cool looking setup. I would have loved to see it in operation. These boxes are empty as well.
There's chairs over there. I'm gonna have to take my backpack off. See if I can squeeze over there. Looks like spare tracks. And the control panel. Oh wow. Go into this back room. Tracks down on the floor. There's a newspaper here. Let's see if we can find a date. 1985 is the date on that newspaper. Okay, the old radio is still here. This is so incredible. Looks like a basement door that goes underneath the back porch. Old record player. Some wine jugs. And just a bunch of wood. Yeah, just empty train boxes everywhere on the floor here. I didn't notice this on the wall before. A million dollar coho. No date on it. More train boxes. And the metal sign with the date, 1952, Lionel. Kitchen still looks pretty much the same. Hockey sticks set up at the window. Is that an old bread box? No, that's an old toaster. So difficult to walk in this kitchen because there's stuff everywhere. Oh, here we go. Canned ham. Yum yum. So warm in here. Very old beach stove. It's a 2003 calendar here. Love the decay in this room. Looks like broken train track all on the floor here.
clothes are still hanging up there. We'll go back to those on the way back. It's been pulled out from the walls. Not an actual fireplace, it was decorative. Okay, it looks like the track is still running all across the living room here. So good, I was worried. That stuff on the floor in there. Somebody had ripped it down. You know, these maps all through the US. They've done some traveling. It's very possible he was a truck driver by that calendar on the wall. A bell piano. Still functional. I'm remembering this looked different before. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see from the old video, but I don't remember it looking like this. Nice. Another CRT TV. Uh, are you kidding me? Looking around the ceiling in here. More train tracks. With a panel light. Couch is pushed over. Obviously, as you guys can see. Oh, so much work. I wonder if these shelves had old model trains. I think they did because there is train tracks on them. What a freaking house. What a find. Old cassette tapes. We have a picture here. A man on a horse. Or a pony. Yeah, look at this train track up here. Seemed like they were very handy with hockey sticks. The old TV. What do we have here? Some magazines. What's the date on this one? Oh, 2018. Yeah, so they're more recent. Three Stooges VHS. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm drenched with sweat. It is so hot and humid in here right now. But so amazing. This place is incredible. Some of those records on the ground. Can't make out what they were. Head up to the second floor. And so remember this strange fan in the door. It makes sense once you get up here. bit more decay in here maybe very hard to tell it's been a while since I've been here so I'm trying to remember so 
This looks like the first small bedroom. Even in this bathroom, there are train car boxes everywhere. Some up there. The mirror is still intact. Well, we'll have a look at some of this. There was just noise up above me. animal right there in the window I think it's a squirrel oh yeah he ran off all car magazines train magazines all in very rough shape Sock drawer. Very small closet. And then this room. Which I'm pretty sure was a grow room. See the power bar here, lights, all the pots, it would make sense. Oh, so hot, let's get back downstairs. Made our way through this one again, what an awesome explore. All these train tracks, all the other retro stuff left behind really does tell the tale of somebody's life. I wish I had more information on whose life that was or how long they lived here, how old the house was, but I just don't. But I will see what I can find. Hopefully, by the time this video comes out, I've done research and found something. Hopefully. Let me know what you guys all think in the comments, what you think of this one. Um, if any of you train collectors are out there watching for the second time around, if you saw anything else, please let me know. And yeah, thank you very much for the 5,000 subs, and I'll see you on the next adventure.